So this video is the continuation of uh, engineering mechanics video lecture one. Now, so today we are going to discuss about the topic of friction. In that, uh, some important topics are. limiting the friction and second one is coefficient of friction and third one is angle of friction and the fourth one is relation between coefficient of friction and angle of friction coefficient of friction and angle of friction and the final topic is angle of repulse So these are the topics we are going to discuss today. Now, so here the first topic is friction, limiting friction. So limiting friction is defined as the maximum value of the frictional force when a body is about to slide. So here I am writing the definition. the maximum value of frictional force when a body is about to slide about to slide so here design here once let us considering the two bodies that is a horizontal plane and I am considering a body. Ikkada nenu effort apply I mean force apply jesuna body pena. So somewhat less force and apply jesuna. The body pena force apply jesuna but body move gale do. And in the move gale do ante nenu apply jesuna force kante ikkada frictional force ane di ekko gaundi. So that's why the body is not moving. Okay. So if I am applying greater force more than the frictional force then the body is about to slide so here the limiting friction is saying that the maximum value of the frictional force when a body is about to slide and the body slide about and start a eight up to develop a unit of frictional force in a limiting friction and to number this is the maximum value of the frictional force when a body is about to slide body slide a eight up to develop in a frictional force name a limiting friction to consider just to know so this one is about a limiting friction then second one coefficient of friction the second topic is coefficient of friction simply the coefficient of friction is denoted by the symbol mu it is denoted by the symbol mu so it is defined as the ratio of limiting friction limiting friction to the normal reaction simply quotient of friction is defined as the ratio of limiting friction to the normal reaction mathematically mu is equal to limiting friction is nothing but frictional force that is denoted by capital F divided by normal reaction is denoted by the symbol R N R suffix N so simply quotient of friction mu is equal to F by R N it is you know I mean defined as the ratio of limiting friction to the normal reaction so this is about coefficient of friction It is also over. It is denoted by F, and this one is about the mu. Now, what about angle of friction? So here, angle of friction is denoted by the symbol phi. 
simply angle of friction is denoted i mean uh, defined as the angle between resultant to the normal reaction let us considering a body a body is having normal reaction which is perpendicular to the contact surfaces that is considering as rn so effort applying here p and a frictional force f then considering a resultant force r so this one is resultant force r this one is normal reaction so simply angle of friction is defined as it is the angle made between resultant to the normal reaction so that means the angle between a resultant to force to the normal reaction so it is called as angle of friction that is denoted by phi so this is also what we discussed up to now limiting friction the maximum value of the frictional force when a body is about to slide as well as coefficient of friction is denoted by mu it is the ratio of limiting friction to the normal reaction simply mu is equal to f by rn then angle of friction it is denoted by the letter phi by the symbol phi then it is defined as the angle made between the resultant to the normal reaction so this is called as angle of friction now the fourth one is the relation between coefficient of friction to the normal reaction coefficient of friction is nothing but mu and coefficient of friction sorry and angle of friction that is angle of friction is denoted by phi so here the relation between mu and phi now for that i am considering a horizontal plane on that considering a block okay now it is moving assume that it is moving to right word i am applying effort from this side as we know that friction force is always acting opposite to the motion of the body if i am applying effort here ante effort ikkad apply chestunna body head side move avutundi right word move avutundi manaku em anthe telusu frictional force body head side ite move avutundo daniki opposite side lo frictional force act chestundi so then the body is moving right word then the frictional force is acting a left word okay and normal reaction is acting perpendicular to the contact surface idi contact surface idi ki exact perpendicular adi exact middle nunchi ikkada kuda raskochu upward direction lo undali and perpendicular lo undali okay let us considering the resultant force here that is considering as r resultant force is acting r then what is the angle here as we discussed just now angle between resultant to normal reaction is phi okay then i am taking tan phi tan phi we know that tan theta is equals to opposite side divided by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side now what is opposite side observe here it is frictional force f సో సేమ్ దీనికి ఆపోజిట్ గా ఇక్కడ కూడా ఇదే ఇదే హారిజంటల్ ప్లేన్ ఇవి రెండు సేమ్ ప్యారల లైన్స్ కదా అంటే ఇక్కడ కూడా యాక్ట్ చేసే ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఫోర్స్ ఏంటిది ఎఫ్ ఏ కదా సో ఇవి రెండు ప్యారల లైన్స్ సో హియర్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో అన్ యాక్టింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఫోర్స్ ఎఫ్ నా ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ దిస్ ట్రాంగిల్ దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఫై అండ్ దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎఫ్ అండ్ అడ్జస్ట్ సైడ్ ఈజ్ ఆర్ ఎన్ దెన్ what is tan phi opposite side by adjacent side ante tan phi is equals to opposite side em undi ikkada f and what is the adjacent side here r n so tan phi is equals to f by r n as we know that just now we discussed about coefficient of friction mu is equals to f by r n now here yes, we know that mu is equals to f by r n so mu is equals to f by rn tan phi na f by rn so directly i am considering the equation tan phi is equals to mu so this is the relation between coefficient of friction and the angle of friction so tan phi is equals to opposite side by adjacent side opposite side mu f and adjacent side is rn then from here tan phi is equals to f by rn and as you know that coefficient of friction mu is equals to f by rn so from that considering tan phi is equal to mu so then this is the relation between angle of friction and the coefficient of friction
Now, finally, last one, angle of repulse. Angle of repulse. Further, it is defined as the maximum inclination of the plane. Maximum inclination of the plane when a body is about to slide. So clear garden just kundi. The maximum inclination of the plane when a body is about to slide. For example, it is a body. The body is in the body place. So, this body is the body in the side. This body is the body in the start of the slide. So, this body the slide. And this body the slide. So, this is the slide. Inka higher religious body slide in the ante Ila lift chase in a put body ekadate slide over them start in though Ikada Edenditi Madion angle and the body ekada slide over them start in though Edenditi Madion angle ni angle of what you call represent ante Ila plain body this one. Then the pine cook a plain body in the Ekadoka block and plate just now. This plane body is pi clip chase in a puddle. This is the block. So, this body is slide out of the start. This slide out of the start. This plane is angle of represent. So, angle of represent is defined, defined, it, may depend, it may be denoted by alpha or theta. So, so simply, angle of represent is defined as the maximum inclination of the plane. When a body is about to, to slide, inclination of the plane, and the inclined angle, the body is move over and start. If you have plane ki horizontal, inclined plane ki horizontal plane, ki form in angle, ne, angle of represent. Now, simply the maximum inclination of the plane when a body is about to, to slide. Okay, further. I am considering a plane here. Now on that plane, I am taking a block, okay. So as we know that self weight of the body is always acting vertically downward that we have discussed in the first unit also. So the self weight of the block is W which is acting vertically downwards, okay. As we take in that angle of repose, this angle is denoted by alpha, okay. Now what about a normal reaction, normal reaction as we discussed in the First topic of friction that is normal reaction is always acting perpendicular to the contact surfaces. For example, body is the normal reaction. This angle, I mean, this is perpendicular to the angle. That is body inclined to the normal reaction. This angle is the same. I mean, perpendicular to the contact surfaces. Ke normal reaction. So, this is the normal reaction which is acting perpendicular. And it is acting upward, the midpoint is direct upward, so this is no problem. Okay, and this one is vertical plane, and this one is horizontal. Then, what about uh, frictional force? If the body at side moves, in the journey, body lift is body is moving vertically downwards. Body is moving vertically downwards. Body vertical uh, downward move in the day. If the what about uh, frictional force? Frictional force acting upwards. And the body is just now. Body is lift just now. Body is moving downwards. Then, as we know that uh, uh, where the frictional force will be developed, the frictional force is developing opposite to the motion of the body. Here, yeah? the body is moving downward. Then the frictional force is acting upward. So F is acting upward. Then, here. This one is W, then angle between vertical plane to the, this one is inclined plane, this angle is 
ప్లేన్ ఇంక్లినేషన్ యాంగిల్ కి ఈక్వల్ గా ఉంటుంది అంటే ఇక్కడ కూడా ఆల్ఫా ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ యాంగిల్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీస్ అని మనం కన్సిడర్ చేసుకుంటే ఇక్కడ యాంగిల్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీస్ అని కన్సిడర్ చేసుకుంటే దెన్ ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ వర్టికల్ ప్లేన్ టు దిస్ యాంగిల్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో థర్టీ డిగ్రీస్ ఇక్కడ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ కన్సిడర్ చేసుకుంటే వెయిట్ కి ఇక్కడ ఉన్న ప్లేన్ కి యాంగిల్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ సో హియర్ ఆల్ఫా అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఆల్ఫా నా ఫ్రమ్ దట్ రిజాల్వింగ్ ద ఫోర్సెస్ ఇది మనకు స్టార్టింగ్ ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ లోనే డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం రిజాల్వింగ్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఇక్కడ ఏమవుతుంది ఇప్పుడు డబ్ల్యూ కాస్ ఆల్ఫా డబ్ల్యూ కాస్ ఆల్ఫా అండ్ ఇయర్ డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా సో డబ్ల్యూ కాస్ ఆల్ఫా అండ్ ఇయర్ డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా జస్ట్ రిజాల్వింగ్ దిస్ ఫోర్స్ ఇలా ఉంది ఇది డబ్ల్యూ యాంగిల్ ఇక్కడ ఉంది ఆల్ఫా సో ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఏమవుతుంది డబ్ల్యూ కాస్ ఆల్ఫా అండ్ ఇయర్ డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా ఇలా మనం కోర్సెస్ తీసుకున్నాం ఓకే నో బై అబ్జర్వింగ్ దిస్ డయాగ్రామ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద హారిజెంటల్ ఫోర్సెస్ హారిజెంటల్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఏమున్నాయి రైట్ వర్డ్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఏముంది ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు లెఫ్ట్ వర్డ్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఏమున్నాయి డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా దెన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వర్టికల్ ఫోర్సెస్ వర్టికల్ ఫోర్సెస్ లో అప్వర్డ్ ఫోర్స్ ఏముంది ఆర్ ఎన్ and downward force em undi w cos alpha w cos alpha now considering as equation number 1 and here equation number 2 now dividing equations 1 and 2 1 and 2 divide chesthe f by rn is equals to w sin alpha by w cos alpha okay we know that quotient of friction mu is equal to f by rn so here i may take as mu mu is equal to f by rn so considering in the place of f by rn i am taking mu is equal to w w get cancelled then sin alpha by cos alpha that is tan alpha mu is equal to tan alpha as we discussed earlier relation between quotient of friction and the angle of friction akade nunchi em ochindi manaku tan phi is equal to mu ani equation ochindi so in the place of mu we may write tan phi so from here mu is equal to in the place of mu i am writing the tan phi that is equal to tan alpha okay in the place of mu considering tan phi is equal to mu that's why i am taking tan phi that is tan phi is equal to tan alpha from here phi is equal to alpha this is angle of repose okay just a body resting here plane as well as the body is moving downward then the friction force acting upward normal reaction which is acting perpendicular to the contact surface and self is acting vertical downwards ikkada nunchi forces resolve chestunnam okay this is all jc వర్టికల్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఏమేమి ఉన్నాయి ఆర్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు డబ్ల్యూ కాస్ ఆల్ఫా హారిజెంటల్ ఫోర్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు డబ్ల్యూ సైన్ ఆల్ఫా ఇవి రెండు తీసుకొని ఒక దాని కూడా డివైడ్ చేస్తే దెన్ ఫైనలీ వి మే గెట్ దిస్ ఫ్రెండ్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద టాపిక్స్ వి డిస్కస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ లిమిటింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ రిలేషన్ బిట్వీన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ అండ్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ అండ్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ